right from my childhood. I always loved the month of March because the month of March heralded the end of the school and the beginning of the mango season and no nonsense about education and going to school and all that stuff. But on 1st of March this time I went to school, to Isha Home School to meet the children who are outgoing after the 12th standard. These children have grown up here with us and I had to be there to spend a, at least a couple of hours with them. It was truly wonderful how they've shaped up in the last few years. But I see that though we have managed to bring up these children without much concern about what they will do, how they earn their living and what is going to happen to them, because I had no such concern at all when I was growing up. What will happen to me? What will I do? How will I make my life? March means I was mad as a March hare. That's all I knew. <laughs> so here I was with these children. They have really shaped up wonderfully and I'm glad. And all the people who have worked to make this homeschool happen. Incredible what they have done. Isha Homeschool is definitely one of the bright spots in the foundation. It's unique and it's beautiful and uh, it's truly wonderful that even me, who had always allergy for a classroom, when I go there I wonder if I'll get a second chance to sit in a school once again. <laughs> so that's how the month of March started off this time around, 1st of March. And I could only spend a couple of hours with them because the Fiki flow ladies who had come from all over the country were waiting for me and uh, we spent some time with them again a couple of hours. It's important that today, I mean this, this month also has uh, International Women's Day. It is important that we understand men and women are of the same species. It is utterly silly even to think who should get better of whom. These are two pieces of the same thing and all these debates about who is superior to whom, who should get better access to this and that, this should entirely go. It's important that except for the biological aspects, there should be no distinction as to who is who. And International Human Day should happen in the next decade or so, so that this differentiation of who is a man, who is a woman, who should get better, this should completely go away from a mature humanity. That's what is needed. I hope we drive this world in that direction, though there are many impediments, many mindset blocks, but it is possible to change this with the right kind of education, with the right kind of attitude towards our own physical bodies. And the same night I left for uh, Uti, the Nilgiri Mountains. This time we went there because the inner engineering teachers, it is their annual meet from 2nd to 4th. This time they all decided to go to Nilgiri Mountains because it was also the 100th Guru Puja celebrations for Sadhguru Sri Brahma and they wanted to be there in this uh, absolutely incredible terrain and wonderful people who live there, these mountain people. So our teachers were all there, so I spent these two days, uh, second and third, with them. And uh, our teachers, most of them young people, even those who have been with us for over 15, 20 years are just touching or crossing their 40s. And it is these young people who have created this movement on the ground level. And it's truly fantastic because the way they have been working, the dedication for their age, the maturity and the insight and the wisdom that they have displayed is truly phenomenal. And uh, I wish I could spend much more time with our teachers because there is a lot more I could infuse into them. Unfortunately, the schedules and their schedules and my schedules, the, now it's a competition as who is busier than whom, that's all. <laughs> because of that, we barely get to meet once or twice a year. 
but it has been most wonderful spending this time in the blessed uh, hills of uh, Nilgiris and uh, we sat in this verdant uh, forest come 5th march we've been in bangalore for various meetings but particularly the board meeting of the rally for rivers apart from the existing board members which is a scintillating group of people we also added a very prominent name in the country shri kiran kumar who's been heading the indian space research organization for the last few years and he just retired and gracefully he joined rally for rivers we welcome his presence and uh, i'm sure there'll be incredible contributions that he can make to this movement and rally for rivers is truly rolling on and uh, in any time soon the advisory from the uh, central government and niti aayog will come to the states as to how to implement this and uh, it's very very clear that this is doable this transformation of revitalizing rivers also is going to revitalize the farmers life so we are not going to restrict ourselves to the riverine lands it is going to spread across and there are many aspects which will transform indian agriculture and in turn the rural life in the country i want to see that in the next 10 to 12 years time that this transformation happens if we show the necessary commitment and industry to make this happen it is doable it is not a question of money but it's a question of human concern that which will bring about this possibility and uh, many things that need to happen in mumbai we are also meeting the the forest minister and the concerned officials to put the first on ground project for uh, a large demo project for rally for rivers the detailed project report has been prepared and that meeting is coming up today but yesterday evening was an event with the international advertisers association all the top media leaders were there and isha foundation got an award as the green crusader of the year which is wonderful for all the volunteers who worked for this the millions of volunteers many of them faceless nameless people that we are not able to connect as human beings but as an energy that flows in this direction as the power that moves this possibility they've all been a part of it it is an acknowledgement to all of them that they are all truly the green crusaders of this year and they will remain green crusaders and these numbers will grow year on year and it's great for these media agencies to acknowledge this we have done one significant thing right now that is uh, we are opening up our archives for anybody who is willing to responsibly take this material and use it in whichever way possible so openly i offered this to all the media houses that if they wish they can take the material we have hundreds and hundreds of hours of video and audio material which can touch and transform human life the intention is in the next 3 years time i am looking at at least 90% of the adult population in the world should have at least a 3 minute spiritual process within themselves it doesn't matter which religion which caste creed gender race they belong to every human being should know how to do something within themselves for their own well-being and transformation so as a part of this translations into 14 different languages and variety of activities happening in the foundation but we have realized the amount of material we have the amount of content we have and uh, to translate this to absorb this to edit this and put it in a right format our own volunteers have done a fabulous job till now but i don't think we will be able to do it in a time frame so free of cost this is being offered people can even monetize this if they wish on their own platforms because the important thing is we want this to reach the world and this is the time because we are in the times of communication where our ability to communicate is fantastic never before in the history of humanity could ever human beings communicate as widely as we can do it today 
but the question is only what are we going to communicate are we going to communicate something that is of true well-being or are we going to communicate something which will be divisive are we going to communicate something which is fundamentally against human well-being this is the choice we have i want to see that humanity makes the right choice of communicating that which makes a huge difference in the well-being of the human beings who live on this planet we are supposed to be the most intelligent creatures on this planet if we exhibit that intelligence not only us every other creature the nature the environmental situations everything can function better everything can have a better life if we exercise our intelligence in the right direction So from Mumbai I'm uh, leaving for Delhi there are a series of events and uh, meetings and one important thing is we are speaking to the Harvard alumni uh, in India so uh, interesting meetings and uh, above all rally for rivers is truly rolling on and there are things to do in Delhi regarding this what do you think you think I want my bread for the week thank you Namaskaram